three, two, one. So, it, it, uh, Kevin, it's very important that uh, folks from the community be able to recognize those outside agitators. Talk about what you and your organization is doing to help uh, people in the community recognize folks who may be here to start trouble. Okay, what we've done at a few of the venues we've already been blessed to be at, we told them some of the things to look for. The outside agitators, they generally come in backpacks. They don't look like people in the community. They have toys that our community loved ones don't have. Bullhorns. They know how to set garbage cans on fire in an instant, shatter a pitcher window in an instant. When our loved ones, you see our loved ones that take a broad chair and side swipe a window for a hundred times, but these people can go in there with the right tool, so they're very prepared and what we've been encouraging our loved ones is to recognize these are the ones who get it started and they'll get you marching down Main Street, they'll turn off on second. By the time you get to 10th, you in jail, but to look for the toys that they have and the different techniques that they use because they're not common or specific to our flatland youth. And those things include, like I said, bull horns, the um, ba um, bandanas up to here and the hats down here. But in that little piece of face that is showing, they don't look like our loved ones in the community. They typically have backpacks and they typically are driven just for the, uh, to me, the agitation part. So then, so you're telling them if you see that person telling folks in the hood to do something, what what are what are the loved ones supposed to do? Well, we've that's why we've had these uh, speak centers, these areas that we have the loved ones that we are encouraging them to march to. And then what we're trying to do, what we did last time in the crowd, we had our lead outreach workers um, encouraging them, man, put that bullhorn down. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? You know, and we've been we were successful, especially on the BART platforms, um, a few days after the uh, event actually happened. So we're kind of looking for that too if we're blessed to be out in the crowds and then to look for that and then for us to dress, those of us who have enough uh, a sense of being to kind of con conversate with them and try to just interrupt them you know what I'm saying? Interrupt their, you know, starting stuff. And then our goal is to try to get in the way. But then our goal, our loved ones don't, in our flatland communities don't like to be used. And when my youth found out what was happening, they were like, wow. You know, and, and it was just breaking that ignorant barrier that they just didn't know that that was happening to them. And so when we've been, what we've been successful at is getting them that information and they were really rock shocked and amazed to find out that that was what was happening to them. And so we think we, if we continue to preemptively get that information, it will stop a lot of that agitation that goes on that was money right there